Hey guys, welcome to another dual caster video. Now before we start, I would like you to go and check out Palm Primus Zero's YouTube channel. He at the moment has, I believe, like 640-ish uh, subscribers, is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. And I looked at his content, I like, I met him like in the end two days ago, looked at his content, and I really like it. I really like how he does his duels, how he does his commentary, and I feel that this may just be the person that I need to help my channel grow. Because even though both of us are below a thousand subscribers, I feel if we work together quite a bit, we can help each other grow really, like really far and help do stuff. Right now, he's having some issues with certain like copyright things on earlier videos, so he has to solve that before he up he'll upload some new ones. May take a few days, but please check out the channel. I do really like it, and very, it's very likely I'll be making quite a lot of videos with this guy uh, in the future. But now let's go to the dual caster. We're just gonna go watch, click on the bottom one because those will have just started the duel. Boom. Let's watch, see what they're up to. Great White Emperor Seminoite, 11,013 rating. I don't recall this guy being an admin, so he'll play a lot. And then we have Abi 29 at 530 rating. Alright, just a set monster for Great Wing. He doesn't have an extra deck, interestingly, so you'd think maybe Clifford, but then why would Clifford set him on so you don't see that often either? We got Sure the Blue Flame, Abby is playing Black Wings, and then Black Whirlwind activates. A monster is able to be added to the hand, 1700 attack or less. Maybe Bora into Special Summon into possible piercing damage? Speaking of Black Wings, have you seen the Arc 5 episode? Row appeared. <laughs> oh, and what an epic entrance, too. Alright. Caladius, the Midnight Sun. Has to have been done in that order, alright. What's he going for? Oh, this could be interesting. Caladius and Gale to make Armed Wing. Armed Wing with 2800 attack due to its effect and then piercing damage. I see that as being a very good option. Natu normally it's in the materials to the grave first. Yeah. Well, like, it's, it's, it's not really proper, but nah. I'm a release. Oh, that's interesting for sure. Yeah. Sure, summons this thing. Effects negated. Another yeah. tuner. So, okay, 2,900 damage total. Is there going to be any synchro? I would have still expected arm doing. I guess they could go Steam and Gladius into nothing the Starlight, and then keep Gale there for an effect later? Because this is they're keeping... they've kept Gale up, up till this point, they may just want to keep it until the opponent may summon something big next turn. Nothing the Starlight would be a nice option. Gladius and Steam. And then they do get a token that they could use later on. You summon the Synchro first, he triggers later. Nothing that really breaks the game, so I don't have to step in to step in as admin. Would I have to step in as admin, though? I will, but I'll end the recording before I do. Because I, I don't intend to ever show any like, admin stuff that I do, I just made that decision. This is an interesting one. Token. I need the second effect can be used once per duel. Yeah, 
You already decided on the monster and sent it to the graveyard. You have to go for it now. Never mind, can't. Well, next next time he makes a play like that, this is the second time already. Next time he makes a play like that, I am gonna step in as admin. Because these are illegal plays. Not that that's gonna happen, I'm gonna assume that Great White Emperor just did not have a good starting hand. And we just saw some moves from Abby. Well, that was the video for today. Um, if you can, let me know of some rulings you'd like explained uh, for rulings with Aoka. I intend to do quite a few episodes of that, but I need specific rulings to go for. I've been requested to do um, something with, uh, was it? DDD, the whatever, Dark, the fusion monster, it, versus things like Rainbow Life and uh, Simochi. And I've also been asked to look into pretty much everything that you have to study for the admin exam, but that's so many different things that, well, I'm not going to do them all in one video. I could do a lot of things in separate videos. But what I would like is to name a few specific ones. That does make it easier for me. Sure, I can come up with some things, but if you could give me some specific things that possibly you have to study for the admin exam, or just general card interactions that you've come across, that possibly you know the answer to, but you feel others may want to learn it. Um, just give me specific interactions or card rulings that you'd like to know, and I'll make a rule. Possibly we'll make a ruling with you about it. Was that last sentence correct? I don't even know anymore. Anyway, um, once again, go check out Palm Primus Zero's channel. I'm pretty sure you'll like it, especially if you like my channel, then it should be good too. He also has an ongoing uh, playthrough of Digimon World DS going right now, so that's very interesting. I do like Digimon. have played Digimon World DS, although I never really completed it because it wasn't my game. Uh, do, I, do own uh, Digimon World Dawn and Dusk, but that's uh, maybe for another time. I'll see you later.